Hi, it's Kelly. I'm here with video number two, uh, which is, I guess, chronicling my journey from California to the Dominican Republic. Um, we're set to leave, we meaning my son and I, my son's eight, we're set to leave in three weeks and a day. <laughs> oh my gosh, it feels like tomorrow because I don't think I have so, so much to do. I've made a list, but somehow it just feels like imminent and like, oh my God, uh, what am I doing? And is this a good idea? And I think it's a great idea, but you know, it's just that kind of, you know, when you have any kind of big deadline, it starts to become very real to you the closer it gets. And so, uh, anyway, so I'm preparing and, um, basically this video is to encourage those of you in particular single parents. I'm sorry, I have to sneeze. Oh no. <laughs> so silly. Single parents who are wanting to do something amazing and bold and take a risk. Be a risk taker in life, people. You know, where you feel like maybe, I can't do this, this doesn't make any sense, this is crazy. But you can, and you should. And why not? And just all I have to say before you do anything like this is plan and prepare. Decide what you want to do. Okay, well, you want to go live in another country? You want to take on some new challenge? Great, think about that. What does that require? Does it require certain types of documents you need? Does it require certain skills? Does it require knowing some people? And whatever it is, figure that out. And then take one step at a time toward getting there. Now, I'll say this. Plan and prepare, but also recognize that if you wait for every single thing to be perfect and every single thing to make sense, you'll be waiting, right? Someone told me that recently when I was thinking about making this move. She's like, Kelly, if you're thinking that it's all gonna line up and be just so easy, think again, right? So um, I'll say this, I have a job. I'm gonna be teaching at a little bilingual school on a beautiful coastal town by the Caribbean, you know, white sand, clear blue water, all that stuff. It's the same school my son's going to be attending. He's been at a bilingual school here in California so for almost five years, and so he's he speaks Spanish. He understands. I speak Spanish. Um, I also speak French, so that is helpful. And um, That is not to say that you can't do it if you don't speak a language, because I'll be teaching English, so you could completely do this. And a lot of places where English is not widely spoken, they really want people who speak English, because you'll be the expert, and you don't have to have a special certificate or degree. I mean, those things always are helpful but not required, so, um, and it's just not as hard as you might think, so without going into all the details, I just want to say, you can do it, um, I was sort of somewhat paralyzed the past couple days and had a headache, and, you know, so you'll have those days too where you feel like, oh my god, this is nuts, but you can do it, so keep on, um, I'll check back in later and let you know about the progress, bye.